in my van trying it out i actually stayed the night in it last night um yeah it's kind of all outfitted there was a little bed i got a the little buddy heater and i got a little mini what, a generator and uh that's what i'm doing and i think i might i might end up uh doing a little of a video blog every day because i am going to be taking off to san diego here soon again i've got a job online and um a lot of you know my life's kind of starting all over again i spent the last almost year taking care of my partner who was paralyzed and on life support and we have still friends but it traumatized him too much so just like when i went through my divorce i am starting all over again except this time um I grabbed some balls instead of falling apart and just went down and I got myself some great possibilities down in San Diego and that's what I'm going to be doing and um, yeah um, life's too short my best friend died and my parents all three of my parents died in the last two years just it's been a lot of shit and I'm just gonna have the rations. I'm leaving first thing in the morning, get my van started up and getting excited. And I got a brand new pillow that I, that I got on Amazon. So it's nice and cozy. And I put pictures up so that all my kiddos and my friends are with me on this trip. And um, yeah, um, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Stop by Carabellas. Got myself a good freezer. Carabella freezer. And it's supposed to last a while. Sorry, I'm probably all over the place here. But got a free hat, collapsible bucket, collapsible water jug, collapsible. Oh, sink. The other thing was a sink. And a collapsible mug. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm on the road. Eating pork rinds. I really like combining pork rinds with uh, prosciutto. And then a little bit of brie cheese. Mm, brie cheese is good. Although I'm allergic to cheese, but... Do. And I'm listening to Impact Theory. The dude's always got somebody in that tells you how to change your thinking and your mindset. Helps you move beyond fear and grow. Very, very cool. Oh my god. Oh, my back's killing me. But I'm here in Vancouver, Washington. And I'm just about to pull in to a friend's place. Whom I actually met in the hospital and once I get in there if she lets me I'll introduce her okay um seven hours and I haven't peed I gotta pee so bad I had knee surgery and she said I'm benefiting from it and yeah. she's got some critters come here hey hey hi no and there's there's two other critters too oh anyway I this is Donna and I met Donna when I was um, when I was in the hospital a lot because because Donna um, was friends with somebody that was friends with my daughter and she heard about the night me in the hospital and she spent a lot of time in the hospital. There's another critter, and uh, so she gave me some really cool advice like uh, put food in the room so that more nurses come in and. Uh, Make sure you put pictures up so that the person seems like more of a um, a real person for you, especially if they're, you know, paralyzed and on life support and everything. So I'm not going to uh, make this very long. Donna, just turn around and say hi. That's all. <laughs> so I am at Le Schwab because... I'm in Portland, dingbat as I am, of course, left my lights on last night and I had to call AAA to charge it. So I'm checking to see <laughs> if I need a new battery or not, just in case, because I don't want to go down that long trip. But um, yeah, so 
Good thing it happened here rather than down, the, <laughs> down further. I'm about to hit the 101 after this. And I haven't been here in years waiting for my battery to get checked out. It's actually a very cool city. It's Christmas Eve morning. This tent's kind of quiet. Um, funky though. It's almost like a mixture between Seattle and Vancouver, Canada. I think I would like it here, but dang it, it is really, really cold and I can't wait to get down towards warm. So I'm heading south the minute my battery's figured out. Enough. Um, because it just is really funky. Okay, there is a counseling place. Hip Hop, the Hip Hound. This is for the Java Hound and the Hip Hound. And it's packed, man. People take the animals seriously here. And uh, there's just all these funky little shops. Lots of people, actually. And, uh, okay, this is the Escape from New York Pizza. And they are open. And we've got espresso shops and little rest. I've decided that um, I was invited and instead of being in the van, I'm going to stay with my friend um, who's like, Lorraine, here, this is, hang on. My, I'm gonna have Christmas there. And how do I turn this thing around? Yeah, oh, we're cooking in the kitchen, Gracie and Justice. Lorraine, where did you go? Ah, oh, okay, she's getting her costume. Okay, yeah, turn, turn okay, turn it around and here we go. So instead of being alone in the van, this is what I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, I'm cooking some gravy. Oops, here, can you videotape me? Yes. This is probably too long. Ta-da! Woo! So, I don't know where Lorraine went. Lorraine! Mom! Over there. Whoa! Whoa! So, oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> the problem is probably nobody gives a shit. I mean, they're all busy. <laughs> What's their own stuff? Hey, 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 hey. Hi. This is beautiful. Take a picture of me. Yes. And my nice new. Woo! Woo! That's right. Everybody. Mm -hmm. 